Well, I picked a hell of a day for this. We're on the search for another flip, about 60 miles away from the house, and it is pouring down rain. We're just about there. It's an 09 G6 Pontiac. I know what you're thinking. Is that all you're gonna flip, Pontiacs? I'm gonna flip whatever can make me money. And uh, in my market, these old Pontiacs, any of these old GM cars, they flip very, very well. All right, this is where he's supposed to be. Wish me luck, hopefully it's a good one. Okay, he says it's sitting over here by the CVS. Let's see what we got. All right, there she is. Okay, so I am test driving this G6 and he was cool enough just to let me kind of ride around out here in the parking lot. I think I'm gonna go down here and take it out of the parking lot and see if we can get all of our shifts. It's kind of very important. And one of the main things I like to test is the transmissions because that is the most costly repair really that you'll come across other than you know replacing a whole motor or whatever. All right, here we go. Let's see what she does. One shift. Two shifts. I think I just felt the third one there. All right, so we're up to 40. So far, so good. Let's spin it around the block here. Let's go off down here, turn around, and see if we can negotiate on the price. He's wanting $2,100 for it, and he ain't getting it from this old boy. get back over he's sitting over here in his truck waiting for me i'm not gonna put him on camera or anything all right she's ours man let's get her to the house first we got to get over to the gas station hot damn this one's even got a key fob that works ac and everything <laughs> we're doing pretty good so far i think so 143,000 miles almost 144,000. not too bad for 1600 dollars and everything on it's working so far i haven't found anything that's not working so good deal um, I don't know, we probably put about 10 miles on it so far and nothing seems to be wrong with it. Coming into downtown Oklahoma City, bit of a traffic jam going on. The car is doing great, absolutely no issues at all. Uh, wish it could be a little more exciting for you. Actually, I don't. It's kind of nice when you get these flips and you get them home with no breakdowns or anything like that. I know it's not great for you too, but it is great for me. Well, at least we know she does good in this stop and go traffic, you know, traffic jams and things like that. Or a quick way to find out if a car has an overheating problem. But we do not. I bet you guys didn't even know we had traffic jams in Oklahoma, did you? Usually down in my neck of the woods though, it's because of tractors in the way and you get stuck behind a hay baler or a combine or something. Okay, well, we made it home, obviously. Nothing to report. Nothing happened. This car seems to be mechanically sound, which is good. That'll help keep momentum going. We've been getting our flips a lot closer together, and uh, this one will help keep things rolling, not having to get in there and do a bunch of uh, bunch of mechanical work, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing slows a flip down more than having to try to diagnose a bunch of mechanical issues. This one seems to check out. Uh, just drove it 60 miles home with absolutely no issues at all. So good deal there. I wanted to give you guys a closer look of what we just got. Um, she's really clean inside. I mean, $1,600. Normally they're pretty dirty. This one is not dirty at all. I mean, I'm talking a, a quick little vacuuming out and I think we'll be good to go. Yeah, looks pretty decent inside. So I think this one's gonna go pretty quick. It even came with a key fob that works. That's awesome. That's kind of rare in the flip game when you're dealing with these older cars. You usually don't get the key fobs. Check it out. Came with some free jumper cables. Looks like a, that's a cool little thermos. Let's see what else. We even got the spare, the jack, the lug wrench, the whole nine yards, man. We, I think we did really good on this one, to be honest. I think we got home just in time. The storm seems to have followed us home. It's about to be right on top of us. I'm having a bit of a situation going on with the door. It's just, it's dragging. It's dragging. I hate how that feels. I like it when the door just kind of pops open like it's, like it's supposed to and it's just 
it's dragging right on the latch. I've got this tool here, works pretty good. Check it out. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. This is a door alignment tool. Use this in the body shop a lot to make little fine adjustments. This thing works pretty simple. All you do is you take this right here, acts as the, uh, the striker and it goes right into the latch. Check it out. Click that right into the latch just like that. This end here, the forked end is gonna go onto the striker. And then look, I could take and I can bend up or down, whatever I need. I do believe I need to go down a little bit on this one. Let's see, and it doesn't take much. I mean, just a little bit there. You can see I'm just barely pushing on it. You just wanna hit the trigger here. Look, see it's locked in. Pull the latch, it comes right out. Then we can go back and see how close we are. Now the way I like to test these is I, I like to do it with the latch pulled and then I can do this little number here. I could just slide it in and out freely. And you can see there, man, that feels way better than it did just a second ago. Look at that. That opens nice now. Before you pop, you know, you hit the trigger and it wouldn't do the little pop without dragging. And then you had to pull it the rest of the way by hand. This is way better this way it's supposed to be right here. All right, so we found a G6 out here at LKQ. I'm out here trying to find some vents. Just some odds and ends right off the bat. I need this guy right here. Mine's broken. Pop that guy off of there. Not sure if I showed you guys, but the vents on that other one are completely missing. These right here, the AC vents. Now they should pop out of the holes with just some clips. I'm gonna try my trim tool here. Hopefully we can do this without breaking it. Get one side kind of pried up and we'll work our way around. There we go, that's what we're after. We'll come on around here to the other side. Now I need three of these, and you can see over here this one's broken, so. But I noticed down on the floor there's one laying down here that is good. All of the tabs, all of these tabs, it's got three of them all the way around it. They're all still good. And the vent opens and shuts properly. So, two out of three ain't bad. Let's keep looking. Sometimes if you'll just dig around in the car, you'll find what you need. This one's the perfect example. Look way up in that trunk. That's the missing vents. Let's get in there and get them out, see if they're any good. All right, I'm going in. All right, so one is broken, but this one's good. So I think that's the third one. We got all three now. Thought maybe this would give us a chance to get an idea of what we're working with and how to get these out. The same way it goes in the dash. You're just gonna bend these tabs. You see that? Bend that tab and push it through. That's basically all you're doing. Just like that. There's one on the bottom. All right, we are free now to push it on through. And that's it, they pop right out. So anyway, I pulled the wrong one out. <laughs> Let's get the good one now. All right, well that was easy enough. That was an easy trip to the salvage yard right there. You gotta love it. Only had to bring one little trim tool and that was it. It's a sweet hood prop. That looks like a fun day in the salvage yard right there. Safety first, you guys. Man, this thing here was kind of sweet before it got here. Look at that. I don't even see anything wrong with it. Fully intact, Acura Legend. 90s something model 90 ish unfortunately it's in a lake so it can't get too good of a look at it i mean we are surrounded by water over here look at this uh it says 93 yep 93 acura legend full ground effects kit this was actually a pretty sweet little ride two-tone custom paint job oh not the subi look at that Ugh. got pushed in son look at that Ford half ton looks like. Nope, that's a three quarter ton. Look at that. We got a 74 F100. Nice. Got the stick shift. Body is all there. A little rough. It's not solid rust or anything. Even got the motor still in it.
Oh, there's some serious rust right there. Look at that. See, we typically don't see that in Oklahoma. This truck must have come from up north somewhere. It's only a 20, 21 year old truck. And look at this. It melted the whole hood. Look at that. Those hoods are made out of aluminum, if you didn't know. Well, like I mentioned, we got everything we need. Let's head on up to the front and pay for this stuff and get out of here. I'm just gonna run by the car wash. All it needs is a quick vacuum, a rinse, and we're gonna send it. So now that we got it all cleaned up, let's get it vacuumed out and then that's it. All I got to do is pop my air conditioner vents back in that we got from the salvage yard and she's going up for sale. You guys be sure to clean your jams out when you're doing your detailing. It makes a big difference when they open the door and inside is just as shiny as the outside. I like to get all underneath here, make it all look good. This one's not too bad, but it did have a lot of built up dust in there from driving down old dusty roads and stuff. So that'll just make it look a lot better, that's all. All right, everybody, here it is, all cleaned up, ready to go. I think she turned out pretty decent, what do you think? It's cleaned up real nice. She wasn't very dirty to begin with, so we just vacuumed it out and, uh, Cleaned up the glass, wiped down the jams, and here you have it. Not too shabby, that's a pretty color. Show you this side while we're at it, since we're over here. Very nice, very clean. Same thing here, nice and clean. The hail damage doesn't show up really bad because it's kind of a forgiving color, so. Remember that anytime you're dealing with hail damaged cars, the lighter the color, the more forgiving it is. You don't really see it all that bad, and people will live with it in this price range. Show you guys the engine. We gave it all a, a little spray. Nothing too crazy. So what do you guys think? 2009 Pontiac G6, 144,000 miles. Some slight hail damage. Nothing major. Uh, green, clean title. So nothing rebuilt or anything like that. Uh, I'm thinking even with the hail damage, we ought to be able to get at least $2,500 all day long for this thing. And that's even with that crack in the windshield. So this car is ready to sell. I'm going to post it tonight. I think I will ask, uh, I don't know, $29.95. We'll shoot it out there, $29.95. And I'm going to get as close to $25 as possible without going any less than that. As a matter of fact, I need to get those vents in. That was actually the final thing. Already popped the old ones out. These should just pop right in the hole, I do believe. Maybe there's a little notch for it to go into. Yeah, see how there's a little notch right there sticking down? I believe that to go in this little groove here. So once you've lined that up, there we go. It should just pop right in the hole just like that. Just like so. And then lastly, there's this one. Cool. We are set. We've got our vents installed. We are good to go. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that was $5 well spent. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy up in here. Mm. 
there we go that takes care of that let's take a look and see how many miles we put on it now we've only had it for a couple of days and we still managed to put that many miles on it so that's almost 300 miles that we put on this thing in just a couple of days that's just kind of the way it is when you live in this in the uh sticks you're going to uh, do a lot of driving to get anywhere okay so i posted the ad late last night and here we are next afternoon and we've already got somebody on the way to look at it now they're going to be the first person to come look at this thing and my phone is blown up we've got lots of interest in it but they are the first people so i'm not going to be dropping the price too much i did put it on their 29.95 so hopefully they're going to come ready to buy but that always remains to be seen so, i mean some people come out here and just waste your time so hopefully cross your fingers we'll sell it All right, so there goes the uh, G6, the 09 G6, 144,000 miles. She's out of here. We sold it on the first day. Awesome deal. All right, so the question is, how much did we get for it? We did. We we advertised it for $29.95, and I took $27.50 for it. She's gone. Quick sell out of here. Sure, Mike could have got a little more for it, but so what? Uh, we sold it just in time for the auction. The auction is in the morning, so we got money in our pocket, and we can hopefully go back and repeat this entire process all over again. The best part is we flipped that car for $5, y'all. Yeah, five bucks. That's all we spent on that car for those little air conditioner vents. That's it. We vacuumed it out, we washed it, and we sent it on its way. You know, to be exact, let's go over the numbers. That was $1,600 purchase price. That's what we paid for it. Private party sale. We bought that car off of Craigslist. $1,600. I bought some $5 vents for the air conditioner, for the dash. And I mean, car wash, which usually I could wash a car just from the loose change I find under the seats of these things. So I, I mean, you can count that if you want to, but seriously man like five bucks is what we spent to flip this car it doesn't get much easier than that i don't know about you guys man but we made well over a grand 1100 and something dollars on that deal and all we did really was wash it that's about it so with any luck we can repeat this entire process tomorrow we'll get back out at the auction hopefully find another car at a decent price that we can make a few bucks on let's go see all right so it is the next morning and we are heading out to the auction it is a great day for an auction it's probably about 72 degrees outside let's get up there see if we can get us another car all right wife just dropped me off she said you better buy something or you ain't gonna have no way home <laughs> all right the first thing we do is we stop by the office and get us a bidder pass and then we'll head out to the to the back and start checking out some cars Kind of an interesting little hood scoop we got going on here. I don't know about that. That is on a Ford F-150. This one here has got the whole windshield knocked out of it. Look at this. Wow, even the driver's side window seems to be knocked out of it. It's got glass all down inside of it. It's a 2013, so I'm sure it'll go too high anyway. We tend to mostly get 2012 and under. Mostly 2010s. 09s, 08s, stuff like that. Anything any newer just kind of goes a little too high. Got a little 08 Mazda here. I'm going to keep my eye on this one. It starts and runs fine. It goes into gear. Just a little cosmetically challenged, but that's how we like them. Body's not too bad. Interior's pretty good on it. And it's not really all that dirty either. So I'll keep my eye on this one. I already went through, did my usual checks on it. Like I showed you in other videos, you know, power steering, putting it in gear, make sure it doesn't overheat, checking the AC, you know, all those little things. And it checks out. So I'll keep my eye on it. Sounds like the bidding's firing up. Let's get inside. I thought maybe today I would take you guys in, show you a little bit more of what goes on inside the auction, some of the bidding, the commotion man it's it's hectic in there i hear people ask me all the time how do you make heads or tails of what they're even saying you just got to get in there and just tune in so let's go try it
price of that Mazda went for 1600 That's a rebuild title. And it still had a lot of damage. So I went ahead and passed on it. This is the one I bid on just a minute ago. Winning bid, 1800. I don't think I got it, to be honest. It went on a call. I seriously doubt we got this for no 1800. Third row seating, rear air, the whole nine yards, but we'll check it out. She seems to fire right up. I can hear the rear air running, so that's a good sign. And this is blowing nice and cold, so good deal. Let's go with the gears as usual right into reverse she's pulling yeah well at least we know all that checks out we'll do the windows we'll do our usual like we always do check all the windows and everything and I can see right here this window switch it's not working the other side's working this side is not so that's the that's the main window there how am I supposed to go to the McDonald's drive-thru with this crap all right, so we definitely would have to check into that. That's, that's a no-go. We got to fix that for sure. AC feels nice and cold, though. Let's see if the radio comes on. It's on. Here we go. The savviest way to shop. Right, so radio checks out. Rear air checks out. Let's check these doors. Uh, usually these are power. These don't seem to be. Maybe there's a button you could turn them on power. I don't know. Or this could be a stripped down version and they don't have power. But they do work. work at, actually work really good. The interior in it's in great shape. Just needs a little vacuuming out really. I don't even think we'd even have to shampoo this one. And overall, the body looks great on it. She's not all beat up. She does have a little bit of clear coat peel in here, but that seems to be the only place. Hopefully get a phone call saying we got it or worst case scenario, I mean, maybe they'll just want a little bit more for it. I wouldn't, I'd give a little more for it. $1,800 is kind of cheap these days for, what is it, a 2010 with 166,000 mile, third row seating, rear air. It's kind of unrealistic to think you're gonna get it that cheap these days. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit frustrated because that first car that I won, the 2010 Dodge Journey, uh, he said sold. Plain as day, he said sold. And then when I got up to the office to count out the money, they're like, it's not sold yet, that one's on a call. He did not say on a call, he said sold. So I'm a little bit frustrating because I really wanted that one, man. But they want $3,500 for that thing and I can't go that high. I like to keep my flips around sixteen, eighteen hundred dollars, two thousand tops is about what I'll go on them. Uh, times are changing though, man. It's hard to get them that cheap and still get something good. I'll tell you that much. Well, we did all that we can do. I went in, I bid, and I got stuck on a call on two different cars, so I'm out. That's all I can do, man. I can only buy like a couple cars at a time at best. So when I get stuck on a call, it kind of does me in for a little while. I could sit around and wait and wait and wait and see if they approve the bid, but typically they won't approve it till later on in the day. I might get a call a few hours from now saying yay or nay. So 
anyway that's how it goes sometimes that's how the auction is every now and then you, i mean they're not all winners so hey man you win some you lose some that's just the that's the that's the card game what can i say um hopefully we'll either get back out to the auction and get something for the next video or we'll just get back out there and see if we can't find something from a uh, an individual just like we did on the last one uh somebody said something in the comment section on the last video that hey man you know that everything this is all cool and all but what about us regular guys that don't have dealer licenses you know you're showing us dealer auction dealer only auctions and things like that with the exception of the black g5 and the red g6 everything we've been doing has been public auction or just buying cars off of craigslist and facebook marketplace off of individuals so you know it's not all about dealer auctions that was just only the the past couple of flips you know so anyway i uh, just wanted to show you guys i'm trying to show y'all every every kind of flipping situation whether it's easy ones hard ones uh, uh public dealer just whatever you know i'm just trying to give you guys just a little bit of everything this is kind of just what we deal with around here on a regular basis so anyway i hope you guys like the videos i appreciate it and uh hit me up on instagram link in the description you can hit me up on facebook too weird beard on facebook and uh you guys please subscribe hit the notification bell give me a thumbs up all that good stuff man if you're a new subscriber let me know man i like to welcome new subscribers it's really cool i really appreciate you guys hitting that button it lets youtube know that we're doing something cool over here and it just helps get the videos uh recommended which helps the channel grow which means we could do more stuff on here for the channel it's a win-win for everybody so anyway i'm gonna get on out of here i appreciate all of you guys watching